During the long, cold, wintry days, why not take a look around your home and see what can be done to make it even more comfortable? For instance, how about a flight of stairs like this to an otherwise inaccessible attic so that it can be converted into a usable room? Or a dining room closet to store, well, whatever you want to store. This game closet is a handy place to keep sporting equipment, games, and bridge tables. And here's one you'd never guess. An attractive wall decoration when it's closed, but a very practical study desk and bookcase when it's open. Did you ever stumble and fumble for your coat in a dark closet? Then why not a light that goes on when the door opens? And you can do so many things in the kitchen, practical things such as building cabinets like these over, under, and around the sink. Or you can install a ventilating fan to take out cooking odors. And in any room where space is available, a built-in bed makes a room do double duty. All of these improvements make a home more valuable as well as more comfortable. So why not do your needed winter homework this winter? Nineteen twenty-eight was a good building year. Almost three billion dollars worth of new residential construction saw the light of day. But in nineteen twenty-nine, even before the depression became general, building dropped off to slightly under two billion. Year after year, throughout the depression, this decline continued. Each succeeding drop meaning thousands more men laid off in the building and allied industries. Until in nineteen thirty-four, all of the new homes built in the United States were worth only two hundred and twenty-seven million dollars. a decline of 92% from 1928. But due to the stimulation of the National Housing Act, 1935 presents a different picture. From every section of the country come reports of vastly increased building activity. Now in these pictures, we show you a few of the thousands of houses of all types that are currently under construction as a result of this building boom. We show you a few of the hundreds of thousands of men whom it has put back to work, some of them after years of idleness. Carpenters, bricklayers, masons, plumbers, men from every division of the building trades are getting an honest day's work. And this reemployment is not limited to the building trades. For every man put to work on a house, several more are engaged in making the needed materials and transporting them to where they are to be used. This coffee and that comes out of a pay envelope tastes a lot sweeter than the same food when it's bought with a relief check. This tidal wave of new construction is an important contribution to the economic rebuilding of America. Home ownership is the basis of a happy, contented family life. And now, through the use of a National Housing Act insured mortgage, is brought within the reach of all citizens on a monthly payment plan no greater than rent. Thousands of people get a big thrill out of looking at model houses, and a much bigger thrill when they buy one. This couple is going through a model house now. Suppose we follow them. The husband apparently isn't very keen about it all, but you know how wives are. So in they go to this delightful living room. The girl is tremendously impressed with the room and its furnishings, but the fellow still just doesn't seem interested. Just give him, oh, a good book and a comfortable chair. Until his wife sees him, then it's a different story. Get up out of there, boy, and get going. They find that the dining room is small, but adequate for their small family and for moderate entertaining. And so they pass on to the kitchen. This cheerful room with its many handy cabinets impresses even this skeptic. And his wife is entranced by the modern flat-top stove and by such convenient features as the sturdy built-in ironing board. Well, now let's see what we find upstairs. First, a peek into the guest room with its modern furniture. Then a glance into the bathroom with its glass dressing table. Now, he likes this even though the water isn't turned on yet. 
just a fleeting glimpse of the nursery, for they don't need this room yet. And then a thorough inspection of the master bedroom. This canopy bed strikes his fancy, and it seems quite comfortable, too. But the wife is more interested in the ample closet space. And so they leave, reluctantly, it seems, for they both would like to have this place for their very own. Too bad they can't afford it. Ah, but maybe they can, for according to this sign, they can buy this house with monthly payments that are less than they now spend for rent. <laughs>